Let's go over how to build your first RESTful API with Bun. And in case you don't know what Bun is, it's the new hot thing everyone in the JavaScript community has been talking about since it's a new runtime with its main selling point just being better performance than the other runtimes like Node.js and Dino. If you want to read more about Bun and the differences, check out the article in the description. To get started, we need to install Bun. I'll be using Homebrew as my preferred method, but you should check the documentation as things could have changed depending on when you're watching this. So to get started, all we need to do is just brew install Bun. Once that's done, all we have left to do is just create our folder. Then we just have to CD into the server folder. And then here, all we have left to do is just run Bun in it. What this command does, it just initializes our project. For now, we can just press enter on all of these. And that's it, now we can get started. Now that we have our project initialized, we just have to focus on the index.ts file since this is the entry point into our application. In this file, you'll see that the default is to just have a console log and to see this log, all you have to do is just run bun run index.ts and there you go, you just ran your first TypeScript file using bun. But in order to create an HTTP server, we have to replace this with an import. So we just need to import serve from the bun package and let's also define a port. I chose to run this on port 3049, but you can pick whatever you want. Next, let's serve our HTTP server by calling serve. And in here we can pass a couple of different options, but for this tutorial, we'll just focus on two of them. One is port and the other one is fetch. So let's start with port. This one's pretty straightforward. This is just the port that our server is gonna run on. But for the fetch, this is actually where we're gonna end up having to handle our requests. So let's just create it by doing async fetch. Since we'll be using async await, we wanna make sure our fetch is async. Fetch will take in the request. And just to see things working, we'll just return a simple response. So we'll just do return new response with just hello world. Also, we'll just console log that our server is running and on which port it's listening. We can actually start our server the same way we ran the file before. So we just do bun run index and that's it. Our server is running. We can also test that our server is working by just sending a simple get request. You can use anything. I'm using Insomnia, but basically sending a simple get request and we're getting our hello world. We're now ready to start working on our routes. And just to keep this simple, we'll only focus on the following ones. So we have a get to get our post by ID. We have a get to get all of the posts. We have a post to just create a post. We have a patch to edit a post by ID and then a simple delete, which will just delete a post by ID. Since this is just a simple blog application, all of these routes will cover most of the use cases we wanna get out of our application. A couple of things to also mention is we won't be using an actual database to store these posts. For now, we'll just store things in memory in an array of posts with an ID, title, and content. The plan is to expand further on this project by connecting things like a database. And the other thing we won't focus on is validation for the routes. This is also something we wanna work on later. Building these routes is dependent on the request value that we're receiving on our server. And if you're familiar with frameworks like Express, creating the different routes with their handlers is pretty straightforward. But when using native functionality in Bun, we have to manually check for the method that the client is using and which URL path they're targeting the request at. To begin, we'll just handle the base case where the client is looking to access a route that we're not handling. So we just have to return a 404 not found. We can simply just do this by modifying our current response and instead returning a not found with a status of 404. Next, we can actually just pull the method from the request itself by just doing const method equals request. And we can get the path name from the request URL by just doing const path name equals new URL and we just pass the request URL in here. We can now write the logic that determines which one of our routes is hit and we can get this started with all the posts. So in order to do this, we just have to write an if and in here check for the method. In this case, our method would be a get and the path name would actually be basically the same for all of them, but we still have to check it regardless, slash API slash posts. If we want to get a specific post, it gets a bit trickier since Bun does not support path parameters in our paths. And the goal here is to support a template in the form of slash posts slash ID, where ID would just be the ID of the post that we want to get. We can actually accomplish this using regex. I won't go too much into it, but this will basically just check for that exact pattern where we have slash API slash post and then the ID afterwards. 
When we grab the post by ID, we have to follow the same logic. So we check for the method, the method being a get. But the difference now is that we actually have to try and extract the ID by do, just doing a match. So for the match, we just do a const match and using the path, we can match against the regex. Now for the actual ID, if we have a match, that means that we also have an ID. So if the ID is there, we can now proceed to grabbing that ID from our list. For creating a post with the post, it's basically the exact same way as the get above, but instead we just check for the method post. The patch is also the same way as the get where you get a post by ID, but instead it's a patch method. The only one that's slightly different here is the delete one for this one. Instead of putting the ID in the path, we'll throw it in the body of the request, but we'll do that a bit later. So for now, we just set it up where the method is delete and the path is the same as the other ones. And that's it. Our API is now redirecting requests to the appropriate block of code. But in these blocks of code, we now need handlers for all these requests. So let's focus on that. But before we get into the actual handlers, let's set up the interface for our post. So we'll do interface post where it will just have an ID, which is a string, a title, which is also a string and the content, which is also a string. We also need our list of blog posts. So let's also create that. So let blog posts which is an array of posts. And we'll initialize this with just an empty array for now. Getting all the posts is the simplest. Here, we just have to return a new response. And in order to return our array, all we have to do is just JSON stringify this. And we also have to set our headers in order to indicate that the response is a JSON blob. When we want to get a post by ID, we just have to get the ID. So we'll get this as a parameter and in here, we have to use our blogs array in order to find that post by the ID specified. So we'll just do a const post is equal to our blog posts dot find in order to find it. And we'll just check if we can find a post with the ID that was passed in. Now, if no post was found, we can also just return a new response. where we simply just indicate that no post was found for this with a status of 404. But if we did find a post, we can just do the same thing as above where we stringify our post, but instead of returning an array, we just return a single post. When we want to create a post, we'll need two things. We just need the title for the post. So we'll have this as a string and the content, which is also a string. Now for the new post, which is of type post, we can create a new object for the ID. I will set the ID of the new post to be the length of the array. This is really bad for a lot of reasons, but since we don't have a database and don't plan on ever making this API available, it will just do for now. We then just add the title and the content. We can now just add the post to the blog posts by just doing a blog post dot push and providing the new post. Same thing as before, we just return a new response stringifying the new post and that's all for the creating a new post. Updating the post is actually very similar to creating the post, but with a couple differences. First is we also now need in the parameters to get the ID of the post that we want to edit while also still getting the title as a string and the, the new content. These should all be the new values that we want to update. And the first thing we need to do is actually grab the post that we want to update. So we'll just grab the index of it by doing post index equals blog posts dot find index and try to find a post that has the matching ID by doing post.id equals ID. We can now check if we found a post by doing post index is equal to negative one. And if this is negative one, we just return the response with 404 not found. Now in our blog posts, we can just use the index that we found by doing post index equals a new object. And in here, we can actually spread the blog post that we currently have by doing blog post post index and providing the new title and the new content. In this case, we won't return the actual new array or anything like that. We'll just return a 200 indicating that the post is updated. Deleting the post is actually exactly the same where we find the index, then we check for the index, but instead of updating, we now splice, which just means remove that post index from our list of posts and just return a 200 indicating that the post is deleted. All that's left now is using our handlers where they need to be used. So we'll just start with getting a post by ID. We can now remove this comment and use our actual handler. So we'll just return handle get post by ID and we'll just pass in the ID here. 
for getting all of the posts, it's the same thing. We just return handle, get all posts. The update is slightly different because here we just need to get the body of the request. So to do that, we'll just do const new post is equal to await request.json. We can now return handle create post. And in here, we just have to, from our new post, grab the new title and the new content. So we'll just do a new post.title and new post.content. The patch is exactly the same way. So we'll just get the edited post from the body of the request and just pass those along with the ID of the post that we want to update. For the delete, since we said we'll put the ID in the body, we'll just have to grab it from the request body. So we'll just do const ID is equal to await request.json. Now, same thing, just return our handler with the delete post and providing the ID. And that's all. Now we're actually ready to start testing our API. But before we do that, don't forget to shut down your server and restart it again, just so our changes get applied. And going back to my client for testing the requests, if I send the same get request that we sent before, instead of the hello world, we should now see a 404 since we don't handle this path anymore. There we go, we got a 404 not found. Now to get all of our posts, we just have to do API slash posts. And there we go, we have an empty array. Let's actually create a post. So we'll do a post and in here we'll provide a title. We'll just say this is my first post. And for the content, we can just put back hello world again. And sending this should now give us the ID and the post that we created. If we go back to our get request, we should now see our list of posts, including the post that we just created. We can also test the ID get. So we have an ID of zero. If we send this request, we'll get just one post. Let's try updating this post. We'll just do a patch leaving the ID in the path. And instead of just saying this is my first post, we'll say maybe my second. Now sending this request will just give us a post is updated. And if we get that post again, we'll see that the title got updated. In order to actually delete this post, we'll have to remove it from the path, switch this to a delete. And instead of providing these values, we'll just have to provide the ID that we want to delete. Oh, and in this case, you'll see that for providing a value of zero, we got 404 not found. This is because we don't have any checks on the back end for what values are coming in. The reason this is happening is because it's a number. Let's pass it as a string and you'll see that we now get a post deleted. If we get a, if we do a get on all the posts, our posts are now empty. But yeah, we've successfully built a pretty simple REST API with Bun. We'll keep building on this by adding a database and other libraries, but for now, just subscribe to make sure you don't miss future videos.